So it's uh, quite early in the morning this morning. And, yeah. Over the last week or so, Scotland's had a high pressure sitting on it. And I was looking at the weather report yesterday, and if you have a look at it, it looks like broken cloud and sunshine, which is absolute perfect conditions for a sunrise shoot because you want some of that cloud knocking about. So what I've done is I've driven up the glen here, early doors. Um, it's minus four at the moment, so it's not too bad. And I was umming and iron, I've got several locations to go to. And of course, I'm driving up the glen and it's absolutely clear. There's not a cloud in the sky and I like cloud. I need something to get that pink reflection off. Anyway, I've come a bit further up the glen then to the original place where I wanted to go. And I've got a little spot here called just at Milavuli for the ski centre. Now I look around and flip you around. You'll see what we've got is Milavuli here. And then I'll come around, I've got this cloud here and there's lots of cloud in the sky here. So what I'm hoping is that's going to get backlit and then go pink. Um, so let's give it a go. As you can see, I've got the buckle behind me and the moon is up as well. So with this location, worst case scenario, I can always spin around and get a, a sort of a, a nice classic shot of the buckle if I need be. So I've uh, walked across the moor here and uh, got to this lovely waterfall. This is one of my favourite waterfalls here. It's just going to make me and Avuli look behind me and give you that foreground interest, gives a bit of depth. There's a bit of ice on it, so it's looking fantastic. I can't wait to get this shot. I'm really excited. It's going pink a bit now and I think we might be in luck. And if we'll have a look at this, all this water and that's going to reflect that colour. So hopefully we're going to get a lot of colour in this shot. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to take the shot. Here we go quarter of a second. Just swap locations here. Uh, I've just spun around and there was some lovely light on the buckle here. So what I've done is I've just took a shot here and see what we get with this one. That's the advantage of being here is you get a lot of shots nearby. Oh, that's looking good. Some lovely light on that. Yeah.
So we left the last location and uh, I came down Glen Etivere and I love Glen Etivere and this is a really nice little Glen, uh, a few secret locations down here for me and particularly this time of year when it's quite quiet it's a fantastic little space you can just explore the full day. And this lock behind me is Loch Anur and it uh, looks over the Larry Garton between the two buckles uh, and it's a quite a nice shot. Uh, I did get down there and I had a walk on down, I had a bit of battery troubles with my phone unfortunately but we did get down there and shot a little bit of shots but they weren't great and it just the composition weren't grabbing me usually it works fine when it's flat calm and you get a lovely reflection but uh, yeah because it was frozen over I just couldn't get any reflection just didn't work for me so I got the drone out a shot with the drone be interested to see how that turns out I think it might be quite good Here we go. 